Edward Jenner, the 17th of May 1749 to the 26th of January 1823, was once an English health practitioner who helped create and popularize a vaccination for smallpox. Through his pioneering work, he helped shop the lives of limitless people, and over time grew to be recognized as the father of immunology and later vaccinations. Short bio Edward Jenner Edward Jenner was once born in Berkeley, Gloucestershire on the 18th of May 1749. The son of a neighborhood vicar, he was once fascinated in herbal records and medication from an early age. Aged 14, he commenced his education to be a medical doctor in Chipping Sodbury, Gloucestershire earlier than finishing his education in London. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Like it. He studied at St. George's Hospital beneath health practitioner John Hunter and used to be influenced via his philosophy of looking for new discoveries, don't think, try, in 1773, Jenner, again to his native Berkeley to grow to be a commonplace practitioner. In his spare time, he pursued his learn about of native flora and fauna and additionally observed any new traits in clinical science. Jenner and the vaccine for smallpox during the late 18th century, one of the most feared illnesses was once smallpox. The disorder was once frequent and killed up to 33% of these who shriveled it. At the time, there used to be little known redress or vaccinations that may want to forestall it. Edward Jenner Jenner used to be fascinated in the statement that milkmaids who had been in shut contact with cows, very not often contacted the disease. With this revelation, Jenner was once fascinated in checking out a concept that inoculating people with a pressure of the cowpox virus should guard them from smallpox, via the immunity received from the similar, however lots much less dangerous, cowpox strain. This exercise of the usage of a cowpox virus had been tried on the bizarre events before, for example, farmers such as Benjamin Jesty had intentionally organized a cowpox contamination for their family. However, these unofficial checks had now not proved something to a skeptical medical, scientific community. In 1796, Jenner examined his concept by means of inoculating James Phipps, a younger boy of eight with cowpox blisters from the hand of a milkmaid who had caught cowpox. The younger James contacted a moderate fever but, to Jenner's relief, when he gave James Phipps variolous material, he proved resistant to this slight shape of smallpox. He wrote in 1801, it now will become too appear to admit of controversy, that the annihilation of the smallpox, the most dreadful scourge of the human species, ought to be the remaining end result of this practice, BBC smallpox, to Jenner, this immunity to variolation was once proof that the cowpox inoculation gave immunity from smallpox. Thus, Jenner had furnished a highly protected way to immunize human beings from the lethal smallpox virus. The pleasure I felt as the prospect earlier than me of being the instrument destined to take away from the world one of its biggest calamities, smallpox, was once so immoderate that I located myself in a type of reverie, Edward Jenner Jenner went on to take a look at in principle on a similarly 23 topics, all of whom gave the identical results. After some delay, his lookup used to be posted by using the Royal Society to a combination of skepticism and interest. After this, Jenner gave up his clinical exercise and committed himself full-time to immunization work. He used to be given a provide from Parliament to assist him in his work. This concerned placing up the Jennerian Institution, a society involved with advertising vaccination, to eradicate smallpox. Jenner's work would subsequently be proved successful, in 1840, 17 years. After Jenner's death, the British authorities in an act of parliament, banned the use of 
variolation and furnished the cowpox inoculation free of charge. By 1979, the World Health Organization, WHO, had declared smallpox extinct, a fantastic fulfillment of which Jenner's groundbreaking work on immunization performed a key role. His popularity led to his appointment as a health practitioner remarkable to King George IV and was once made a Justice of the Peace. He died on 25 January 1823, after a stroke from which he in no way recovered. Thanks for watching, like, comment, share and subscribe. Like it.